So now we'll come to the most challenging of any scars to treat. There are many types of atrophic scars. Scars caused by a loss of collagen inside the skin layer. So you might have heard of a lot of names like Peter scar, I speak scars, ball scars, all these kind of names. So here are the treatments that are available to treat such scars. Firstly, chemical peeling. Chemical peeling using um, salicylic acid, glycolic acid can be applied to achieve different depth from superficial, medium to deep depth to achieve results to even out the uneven skin surface. So generally, minimum 6 up to 12 sessions might be needed at about 2 to 4 weekly interval to see results. However, sometimes the skin can feel a bit sensitive in between the treatments. Okay, so some people have asked me about microneedling. So microneedling has a very long history because it's a very simple procedure. It's using micro needles, breaking into the scar tissue to soften the scars and stimulate collagen regrowth. However, it's no longer popular firstly because of the fact that it's extremely painful because the needles use are actually pretty thick and cause. And secondly, some people actually develop worsening scars or keloids as they do not heal well after micro needling. So nowadays with the advance of technology, there are a lot of options that you can already use like different kinds of uh, resurfacing lasers that already took over the effects of micro needling. So next I'll talk about the very popular laser treatment known as fractional resurfacing lasers. So over in CSK clinics, we don't really carry carbon dioxide lasers because we find that it tends to leave behind post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation for our patients. So therefore, we select a different group of lasers. One is the BB lasers, which is a kind of thallium laser. Another one is a mosaic, which is also under the erbium family. And recently, we have brought in photoner, also erbium lasers. So like I mentioned, these lasers are selected because they have the least amount of post-laser side effects known as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. How this laser works is that it actually removes or ablates the superficial layers of the skin known as the epidermis to the dermis. And as these layers are removed, the new cell formation will cause smoother and more even surface to be laid down. And over time, usually you need about average of about 4 to even 10 sessions. Then at about 4 to 6 weekly interval, the scars get more and more smoothened up with time. Next, I'll come to E-Matrix and the Venus Viva. So as we might have already known, E-Matrix is a very famous FDA approved device that uses non-ablative radio frequency to cause a non-ablative resurfacing of the skin. So its advantage is that it actually minimizes damage to the skin surface and yet the radio frequency energy can stimulate a lot of collagen repair and growth causing improvement of atrophic depressed scars. So the benefit include that it can be used to treat of course atrophic scars, can be used to treat um, stretch marks as well. It has usually minimal downtime because the radio frequency is good for stimulating collagen growth and it's also pretty comfortable with uh, not a lot of pain. For anti-aging, it is useful for reducing fine lines, wrinkles, as well as pore size. So Venus Viva is actually a later invention with similar technology, although it is more refined known as the nano radio frequency. Also invented by the similar scientists that invented E-Matrix, it gives similar results to E-Matrix, but the advantage is it allows more adjustments of the power and the depth so that the energy can be adjusted based on individual skin thickness, skin color, and pain tolerance. So a clinical study actually showed that there's 98% satisfaction with treatment after a single session using venous fiber. Pico Fractional Lasers is now, I would say, the darling instrument used by a lot of doctors in treating any scars. Reason being, it uses ultra-short pulses of lasers at very, very high speed, which can enter the skin quickly and leave it equally fast, leaving behind minimal damage to the skin and yet giving the best result at the same power that is generated. So how it works is that it uses the LIOB or laser-induced optical breakdown in the intradermal layer, causing collagen remodeling quickly with no scars or pigment marks. Its advantages is that it has minimal downtime, which means that usually within one to two days, the slight redness on the skin will go off and we can go back to work immediately almost. So scar fillers are now the rage in Singapore following 
the effect it has or the success it has in South Korea. So for scar fillers, actually I'm referring to Rejuran and Rejuran Healer is probably the most established and most famous of all Rejuran products. So Rejuran actually consists of PDRN which stands for polydeoxyribonucleotide. So it's actually a special kind of DNA cells with this thing called the DOT, which is DNA Optimizing Technology. So the molecule of Rejuran is 670 times smaller than our pores, which means that it can enter the pores and fill it up and stimulate collagen regeneration. As a result, it has multiple effects. For instance, it's helpful in skin healing, for scar formation, for plumbing of the skin, reducing wrinkles, improving pigmentations due to aging. The newer products of Rejuran now you might have heard will be called Rejuran Scar. So Rejuran Scar is actually the most thickest of all Rejuran products. It's the most highest in density. So it can be injected into the pitted or depressed scar areas to fill it up. And it needs about average of 4 to 6 sessions to stimulate collagen permanently so that the plumbed out effect you see is actually the growth of the collagen to fill up the entire scar area. The next product that is also very popular, which is something that we can use, let's say for anti-aging, is called Rejuran Hydro Booster. So what it has is actually a combination of Rejuran H together with minimally cross-linked hyaluronic acid for hydrating the skin. So it also consists of lidocaine, so that's why it's the most comfortable ingredient for injection under the Rejuran family. Uh, it's particularly good for people who are starting to notice a bit of aging of the skin, so they want to stimulate the collagen as well as hydrating the skin with hyaluronic acid. Typically, it's recommended to be done once a month for three to six times to keep the skin looking good. So in summary, how do we select the Rejuran then? So Rejuran Age is good for everybody of our age group because it can treat a variety of conditions like anti-aging, pores, wrinkles and scars as well. But if you specifically have more severe depressed scars, you can select Rejuran S as well. Which means that you can use Rejuran S for the scar area and Rejuran H for the entire face. But should you start to notice that your skin is a lot better and you want to do maintenance, you can just maintain with Rejuran HB which has a diluted but combination version of Rejuran H. So I hope this makes it clearer for you. Thank you for your attention. I hope you find today's video really useful to you. So please um, put any comments or any questions you have on our comment site so that I can answer them. And thank you so much again. Bye. It's, a dis okay. it's advantages is that there's minimal downtime. So typically, okay, it's advantages is that it has typical... Uh,